you have a crisis like this, and in the absence of running water, in the absence of these basic basic amenities, um, the crisis is uh, elevated. Also speaking at the occasion, First Lady Monica Gengos emphasized that social distancing would not be an easy concept to grasp for the most vulnerable citizens, but added that protecting people is crucial. She says protecting people is equal to protecting the country's economy. Distancing is a difficult concept. When people are living in small, dense spaces where they don't have the luxury of distancing themselves from one another. It's easy to talk about social distancing when you can afford to run to metro and stock up your trolley. There are people in the informal settlements who literally live day to day. They rely on the income they get today in order to buy and eat the food they eat today. People do not eat soap. If people do not have food, they will compromise the social distancing rules that we are talking about. And the only way we can all adhere is by those who have more assisting those who have less. Other speakers at the event stress that the current crisis is one shared among citizens, urging those with more resources to share with others who may not be able to help themselves at this time. Elso Holdings also donated surface sanitizers and toilet paper toward the fight against COVID-19. I've been wondering how can we, we give back and how can we actually help with the need uh, we're seeing it with commercial customers, but what can we actually do at grassroots level? Uh, and the team had been working this week to see what could we do, and then Standard Bank approached us to say they're actually working on something very similar.